all right everyone welcome back to another packing video not sure how how long this one's gonna be we have a hurricane on the way might be a week in between these videos uh this is just packing uh we sold this on Poshmark and I'm just double bagging it. That's how I do it. I'm gonna tape these up so hopefully they won't get caught in the USPS machinery. packing a sailboat G.I. Joe sailboat and after using this tape for one day this is I'm not I don't even want to say the brand I'll just say I bought it on eBay and it was super cheap I refuse to say I refuse to say where I got it because I don't want to promote it because it is I mean it's 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 okay it's going to get me through this but it is uh, I got what I paid for I'll just say that it's like so thin it feels like I'm using saran wrap how thin it is <laughs> like i said though i can make it through with that I'd, I'd rather this than this that's for sure all right we're packing this cool ornament here okay it's got the plastic in there there's not really anything for me to do internally there we go all right and we're going to use one of these um it's a little big in every dimension for an 864. So this is one of the boxes we initially were using as a sci-fi lot box. And now we're using it for this instead. We should be coming in around I think 15 ounces on this by the time it's all packed up. Give that a shake. Oh yeah, that's good. That ornament's pretty light. The box is just a little, a little bigger. Yeah, this tape, whew, it's so thin. All right. I didn't show you all this part. Yep, dot eight two, so what's that work out to? I don't even know. Uh, it's over 12 and under 16, I know that much, ounces. All right, I love, I love these eBay standard envelope going out. These single patches are usually a uh, two ounce rate, so it would be, I think currently that's 97 cents. All right, we're packing this uh, cool vintage pineapple paperweight. I checked, it'll fit fine in this box. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to do a little hand resize. If I can find my knife. There it is right here. Ooh, that's gonna be a really bad corner right there. Kind of fix 
set up. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I gotta be careful. I feel like I'm gonna cut my hand. Which I don't, oh god, I really shouldn't say this. I don't believe I've ever cut my hand with this thing before. And I'll admit, I've been kind of haphazard. That's the thing, the more experienced you are doing something, the more confident you are also. And that's when you mess up. Oh my gosh, this looks terrible. <laughs> But it's also good. It's a letter opener. It'll be all right. What a little mess of a package this is. Definitely strong, though. I like that part. Can y'all tell how? Can y'all tell how thin this tape is? I mean, it really. Feels like slightly thicker than saran wrap. That's done. All right, we have some cow salt and pepper shakers packing now. I think an 864 ought to fit them fine. take them out and individually bubble wrap they are kind of bagged to stop them from getting chipped I'm not 100% sure I'm going to go with that, that box. I might step up the size one. We'll see. I'm going to put them in there and see what they look like. Yeah, I'm not, happy. I'm not good with that. All right, I went ahead and got a 1086 box. Dead. This stuff is so so thin it's hard to lay it down flat without getting wrinkles. So you can really tell. Not a hard pack at all. I just wanted a little more space. To float them in the middle. And I think we're good. I, the only thing is, I don't know if I went over the weight that we predicted. I may have. I think we might be all right. Let's see. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess dot nine two, dot nine three, dot nine two. 
Dot nine zero. All right, nice. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a little more packing here. We are going. You're gonna hear a little rain in the background. This is actually today. I'm filming on Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And we have the uh, we have hurricane coming in. And we're in one of the outer bands right now, I suppose. Gonna have a, we'll be in and out of rain for probably the next, probably mostly in, uh, for probably the next, ooh, a lot of hours here. Uh, probably the next 12 hours. haven't really had so far we haven't really had like uh, hard driving rain but definitely kind of picking up this thing is going the path of this storm is directly through where we live like I mean like straight through it Definitely glad it's not stronger, that's for sure. We do not know what's in store. Uh, we, we did put our store, speaking of store, what's in store. We put our store on um, time away mode. Which is the, the new way of saying vacation mode on eBay. And... We put that we would be back on Friday, which meant these orders really need to get out Monday. And we're not going to send this out today, even if the carrier shows. Uh, we're not sending these. We, our plan is is you know provided we have mail service tomorrow is to get these that we're packing right now. We'll go out tomorrow. That's the plan. And we just want to want to get ahead on this because we don't know if we're going to be without power for a long time or any. I mean, you know, obviously, we don't know any of that. So while we have a a little time, might as well go ahead and get these ready. I'm really hoping I'll be able to film tomorrow too. If I'm filming tomorrow, that means. Uh, I'm filming a packing video tomorrow. That means the hurricane. We, we made it okay through the hurricane. Right. This tape is so thin. I'm, I'm just going to have to use a little more of it. All right, we sold this Disney pen. Because it's on this backing, this plastic backer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use a box. It's still going to ship at four ounces anyway. If it was just the pen, I would use um, I would use a bubble mill. I still could really, but I want to. This is still going to weigh way under. Uh, way 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 under four ounces let me try and guess what it's going to weigh on my scale on my scale four ounces is 0.25 um i'm predicting let me see what let me see how it feels oh wow it's pretty light i'm going to predict dot one four that might be uh, now nah, I'll say dot one six. Oh, look at that! I nailed it. All right, we're shipping this uh, Craftsman charger now. This is going to uh, just outside of New Orleans. And when we listed it, we allowed for two pounds. 
packing weight, so I'm, I'm not under any kind of uh, pressure to make this super light or anything. It's going to be cheap going to New Orleans area no matter what. I mean, hell, this thing weighs over, over a pound, so it's kind of heavy. mess with these too much anymore chargers and stuff I mean, this, this one took a long time to sell too I think I'm going to use even more tape than I was before because I don't really trust this tape that much. That's All right, we have this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lot that I just listed yesterday. And going along with this lot are two other figs. I have this pretty well packed in here. I do have some room here. I don't have a ton of room. I need to get two more figs in here. Yeah, I can go here and here, and then I can still put some paper on top. I am going to go ahead and bubble wrap those guys a little bit, though. These pieces are, I would say they're probably more valuable than anything else in that box. Especially this guy right here. He's, he's complete. He has his helmet, football, and everything. TD Tossin Leo. Okay, yeah, I feel a lot better now. No, no problem at all now. have um, everything in, in there is pretty much bubble wrap so it's, it's pretty full but it's like full of bubble stuff so I think we're in good shape to arrive in perfect shape Pretty much already got it packed yesterday. I mean, I'm sure this tape is fine. It's just so thin. Like, can y'all tell? Look how thin it is. I thought this two inch tape I had over here was thin. This is not my go-to tape, by the way. This, this is thin, but I think that's thinner. <laughs> Let's see, oh, let me do this seam. Right here, but I have like a whole case of this. <clears throat> Got 23 more rolls of it. And I did only pay $40 shipped for it. So that's a that's a plus. That's done. All right, packing a belt buckle. Cool little Coors belt buckle there. Coors slash Ducks Unlimited collab. I think from, I don't know what the date is on that thing. Looks pretty old. Let's see if there's a date on it. 
Mm, no. No date. Or, yeah, I, I do want to use a box. I, I, I consider just using like some cardboard and bubble mailer and stuff. And it, like, nah, because I don't want the I don't want the bubble mailer to to fail and the thing to come out of it and stuff. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna make this a little lower. piece of bubble wrap I actually need I've been needing to order bubble wrap but and I was going to until this storm popped up and I'm like man I really don't want bubble wrap shipment in inbound right now so we'll probably order if, everything, if the storm goes okay or whatever we'll probably order the bubble wrap tomorrow from Bubble Boy. Actually, the way I pack these days, I don't even, man, we we don't, we use a lot less since I use so much paper now. Don't really use that much bubble wrap these days. Like, the one thing a bubble wrap lasts a very long time now. You know what? I'm not going to do it like that because... And these, I usually wrap my label like that, even though you're not supposed to. But I make sure the address and the barcode are easily scannable on top. And then the other information is this part that goes like around, uh, around the corners there. Alright, packing this, uh, excuse my pronunciation, Daguerre... Daguerreotype? Daguerreotype? I think it's probably Daguerre. I don't know. I guess I could... I guess I could punch it into... I guess I could punch it into YouTube. YouTube has a pronunciation of every word. Probably every word in the dictionary is on YouTube. Probably for every language. Digging this, lots of small easy packs. wrap the spark plugs already and it's like oh wait I'm not filming what am I doing so yeah Put a little cardboard in there so the boxes the boxes stay in good shape for our customer not that that really matters that much it's not that critical and you know what before I seal this one yeah it's gonna be eight ounces oh yeah I can go ahead and, I can go ahead and seal it Definitely got a bulge there, but it's not gonna. Let me see. Once I do that, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go print the label, then I'll seal it, and I will see y'all again soon. All right, we are back, and uh, this is first video post hurricane. We've been on vacation mode since. So day before yesterday and uh yeah we actually did still make some sales uh, more importantly we made it through the hurricane just fine i hope if you were in the in the path of what was that hurricane called francine yeah francine francine that uh you did well too it was a stressful night for sure we should be getting back to normal now. We have two cards going out. 
I better go ahead and print this label before I get these mixed up. All right, got that one done. Oh, um, our carrier already came this morning. So I was able to get the packages that we had packed yesterday out, which is good. I mean, they didn't have to get out, out of here till Monday. And most of the stuff we're packing today has to get out by Monday. So we're good. It's going to go out by tomorrow. But uh, yeah, the uh, carrier brought me a nice little surprise. Very simple thing. Not expensive, but I'm very excited about it. The one of you guys sent. All right, I'm going to get this glove packed. I'll show you all that thing in a minute because I'm pretty sure we have a package. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a package we need to use the item with. So I'll unbox it right before we need to use it here in just a few minutes. We'll get this glove pack first. With some of this cheapo eBay saran wrap tape. <laughs> it's so thin. Uh, I am not going to tell y'all who this, where we got this tape from because I do not want any of you guys to to buy it. It's so bad. It's still better than two inch tape though. I used to send gloves and uh, my go-to way of shipping gloves used to be the priority padded flat rate envelope. But since uh, Ground Advantage is a, so affordable, especially in this size, I'm typically on glove like this, I'll send it box now. I still will send some gloves, if, especially if they're under a pound. Like this one's not under a pound. Gloves that are under a pound, often I'll still send like in a, a poly mailer or something. Or a poly bag. Okay. Alright, we're going to pack this book. The binding is kind of kind of worn there, so I'm being careful with it. I'm just going to use one of these Gemini comic mailers. Doesn't get too much easier than this. I don't know for the for the price I paid this tape is okay because I got a case of 20 24 rolls of it for $40 delivered and each roll is allegedly 110 yards so it is a lot of tape right, I'm gonna pack one of these brass letter openers we got Had a bunch of smalls from a store buyout we did a while back, and this was in there. I like this kind of stuff because it's uh, it's it's kind of interesting stuff to go through. Easy lister, and doesn't take up any room at all hardly. So I do not mind fooling with. A little bit lower cost stuff like this provided it's easy to work with and this was had a lot of uh, jewelry pieces and uh, some cool belt buckles and these letter openers doodads like that that stuff's always kind of fun. 
I think. We like having a good, we like having a good variety of um, high and higher cost and lower cost things. All right, packing this, uh, what's it, is this an espresso yeah. pot, yeah. kettle, whatever you want to call that? We got two of those, uh, same brand, at a garage sale for $5 a piece. They feel really well made. Ugh, this tape, man. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna let y'all know where this tape came from. It's bad. It's hard to. The, the, I don't mind the thinness of it, because whatever. As much tape as I use, that's it's not really gonna be an issue. What I don't like is how it doesn't lay down smoothly, and you got all these wrinkles and stuff. I don't like that. So come on, Bubble Boy, get your tape back in stock. Hurry. Oh, but uh. Yeah, we're going to have opportunities to do a couple of things here. First of all, let me get my... Ah, here it is. Looking for my stretch wrap. This is a good time to use stretch wrap. Because these pieces, this lid can open, I think. Yeah. And like, yeah, this needs, this needs stretch wrap on it. And it'll not only keep everything from opening and whatnot... It'll also protect the finish of it. And heck, I'm probably not, since I'm doing this, I'm probably not even gonna use bubble wrap. I'll just use paper. So I'll go a few extra wraps here. The stretch wrap is super cheap. And I've come to really enjoy using it. So before before we do this because we are doing a resize let me open this let me, first let me let me tell y'all well if you watch this channel before you know this thumb screw here thing it is stripped out well it's not stripped let me show y'all if i can even get it off of here i might have to go get a pair of pliers Let's see yeah because okay hang on okay Got some pliers here. I think that's what I'm going to have to do to get this thing off of here. Yeah, there we go. So the issue with this... Is that, you'll see there's a... I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There's a crack in this knob. And this is not the first time this has happened. And it ends up where you, you're turning this knob and it's just like spinning, it's stripped out or whatever because of that crack. Well, I've been complaining about it on videos and I haven't done anything about it. And Mike reached out via email and said, hey, yeah, I think he had the same problem. Let's see, there's a note here. Let me see what the note says. Uh, everything I know about shipping, I learned from you. Uh-oh, that's scary. Bubble burritos, yep, I like bubble burritos. Shipping paper from Zorro, yep, good deal. Including the new bogus paper, yep, this stuff right here, which I love. Box your cybers, etc. Happy packing, Mike. Uh, so, Mike, thank you so much, man. That was very cool. And, look, here's some of this. I could tell that's some Zorro paper right there. <laughs> uh, and, I think we have a thumb screw in here. I hate to spoil it. I guess I already spoiled it. The only thing that I don't know for sure is does it, is it going to fit? Although I'm pretty sure it will because these are probably, I'm, I'm willing to bet all of these box resizers are probably made at one, one factory. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. One solid steel screw. Wait, I got to make sure I put it on the right direction. I think that's it. Is that it? No, that's wrong. I knew I was going to do that because I'm a dummy. There. All right. Let's see if this fits the threads. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. Okay. 
Well, actually, it is a little tight. Let's see. Oh, man, I've been struggling with it. Man, this, this stinks because this wood is such a... I can't, I can't use it. It just, it just barely doesn't fit. It's either the... It's either slightly too big or the thread pattern isn't... isn't the same it does look like these threads are a little spaced a little further apart man i don't know uh, okay well you tried mike i really do appreciate you sending that but yeah i'm, I'm afraid <laughs> oh man that th it's not you mike it's me this this always happens whenever i do something like this every time let's see is this going to even fit now no yeah it does all right all right let me get back to packing. Mike, thanks again for being so thoughtful and trying. I wish it would have fit. And you know what I might do is I'm, I think I'm going to reach out to Mike, find out if his fits his resizer. If it does, I'm just going to buy whatever resizer he has. And then I can be done with this forever. <laughs> and I'll just throw this resizer away. Okay, and then until I until I get this rectified, I'm just gonna. This is what I've been doing lately. I just turn the set screw or whatever, and now I think I might I may have damaged. You know, okay, it's working. Thought maybe I damaged the threads. All right, that's what I'll do. I'll reach out to Mike. I'll find out what which resizer he has, and then. I'll buy it, put that, what am I doing? Okay, I'm a moron. I'm about ready to just take this resizer and hurl it. Okay, this was me being dumb though. It wasn't the resizer's fault this time. I can get it that far, but then once I get to there is when it starts kind of stripping out. Let's see how high we need this thing. I think that'll be good. We, we will use bogus paper. There. That's how I have to tighten it now. Unless I just leave it kind of loose and I'm careful, but then sometimes it'll slip. So yeah, I thought that was solved. I thought that was solved. feel really bad because Mike went out of his way to try and help me out. That's what I really feel bad about. And we are going to use some of this bogus paper. paper around the back. You've not seen the last of this. I, I need to make sure. Look, I'm going to put it right there. I need to make sure I have that thing on hand. Because I am going to use that screw. All I need to find out is which one I can use it with. I guess if I was a real man, I could uh, just go get my tap and die set and re-thread that thing, but I'm not. I'm, I don't have anything like that. And knowing me, I'd probably screw... Oh, that tape. Knowing me, I'd probably screw something like that up if I tried to do it. Okay, that's good. All right, packing a big Bible, and it's uh, right at 12 ounces. It's not 12 ounces. Right at 12 inches tall. So putting it in a 1210, no, I'm sorry, 12, 12, 12 box, uh, it would be so tight that it would have a good chance of getting 
damaged, I think. So I'm gonna use a, first I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna use a uh, 16, 12, 10 box instead. And then we'll resize it. Okay. One of these guys. Okay. Use a bunch of tape on this thing. Well, I think I could just do this. I can do my normal taping. You know, I like to I like to put a piece around the middle like that anyway. I think this will be sufficient. With my saran wrap tape. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh Will I get lucky? Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this sorted out, man. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep living like this. All right. Right about there, I'll do it. Why couldn't they just, I wish they would have just like spent another 15 cents making that thing. I would have gladly spent an extra $5 when I originally bought it. They would have just had like a durable screw in there to begin with. Okay, that. Big old heavy Bible there. 1949. I'm just gonna paper the bottom a little. No, we have one more today. One more vacation mode sale. Time away mode. A self help kind of thing. Got it at a state sale. Got a book and some CDs or something with it. Oh, by the way, that, uh, that big Bible, I set it up as media rate. It's going EIS, eBay International Shipping Program. 
so it's going to, uh, that's where you ship to Illinois, and then they take it from there and get it the rest of the way, that, that thing, and, um, yeah, it was nine pounds, and y'all saw the size, it was, uh, 1080 something, media rate, and I checked ground advantage, and it was almost a dollar cheaper, so now, free upgrade, of service and I don't have to worry about because here's the deal like it doesn't happen that often media rate usually works fine but every now and then if a package does disappear in the meat in the postal system which I don't understand like I'm not, I, I don't understand that how do they get away with that so like if you if you hand off a package to USPS and they scan it and they say we have your package like a media media mail package they scan it and you have proof that they have it and then they don't end up delivering it and it's gone and it's lost why do they just get to say oops you lose because you didn't buy insurance, it doesn't come with insurance. They admitted, like, they, you have proof that they had it. So, why, why is it like that? How is that okay? <laughs> what, other, what other business have you ever heard of that can operate like that? And I know post office, post office is not a business, but why do they get to just say, oops, we lost it, our bad, and you're just out? Like, I don't... There's a lot of trust that goes on with media mail, right? And like I said, it usually works out fine. Very rarely do we have any problems. So, uh, but yeah, uh, being able to upgrade from media to ground advantage and save a little money and alleviate any concern about if they lose it, because now if they lose that Bible, um, you get reimbursed. All right, we're gonna pack a few more things here. Our carrier's been coming it's the same day as the last pack show. Our carrier's been coming. Um, well, we have a backup carrier. And he's, he's pretty good. But he's been... Today, he showed up at like 1040. So, in the afternoons, I think, just so we, we're sure we can make it. We don't have too much to pack first thing in the mornings. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and start like pack, maybe packing in the afternoon while we have the replacement carrier. This one's done. This is a Macari order. Packing a LOL doll or something. I can't remember what they call these things. Surprise LOL or LOL. Is, it, is that right, Candace? Surprise LOL? LOL surprise. these uh, little Westie dogs pack in here and um, I don't want to do this and I think I'm gonna double box this is a 1086 right here and that's just not enough room if I go bigger I'm, yeah I'm double box is gonna be my play here for sure that's what I'm gonna do. That's usually not a wrong answer. And I can get that done pretty quick. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna go and tape this up too. I 
Okay, we'll use regular packing paper on this part. And then we're gonna go with the uh, bogus paper. So weird they call that bogus paper. Because to my recollection, bogus kind of a it's a negative thing that's bogus that's that's not a positive thing i guess it could also just mean like not really paper but which i think is how they mean it but I don't know. and then we're gonna put it in a 12 12 12 a little bit of an overpack i would say going to see too many underpacks on this channel if that's what you're into if you're into watching oh man this oh great really it's going to be one of those huh what is it shipping depot that's what this brand is I'm letting I'm not telling y'all that to buy it. I'm telling y'all to you don't buy it. God, Pain in the butt. All right. This might work. Look, perfect. There we go. <laughs> Bogus. All right. Yeah, it's kind of snug. <clears throat> that doesn't help any at all whenever you're... I don't think it's good ever for the tape to be tight on there. It doesn't help whenever you're dispensing it, I don't think. Whatever. This is just some tape to get me through until... <clears throat> Bubble Boy gets my go-to back in next month. That's the word Joel gives me anyway. I'll wait. Right, we are going to do a little bit of resizing here. Let's see. Ugh, whenever I use the pliers, it takes so long. Okay, I really, I didn't get back with Mike yet. I need to. All right. Having to get a pair of pliers out every time I do a resize, I ain't going to cut it. Thank you card in the smaller box. Oh, we're going to pack a little spoiler here. We're going to pack some golf clubs in a few minutes. Your time.
Yeah, a book lot here. Let me get a let me get one of these. I'm gonna use a 1086 box, which last time I looked, uh, a few days ago, I looked and these are still on sale and they're after coupon and all that good stuff. These are like 40 around I think it was around 40 something 40 something cents per box to the door which that's like crazy cheap I guess they have a ton of them or I guess they haven't been selling well for them I don't see why they wouldn't now probably shouldn't tell y'all they're on sale and then I could just just me buy them all right another Etsy order by the way Not Etsy. Mercari. That's how Mercari usually is. Like, you know, we'll sell. Actually, Mercari's been a little hot lately, but we're normally, our average Mercari order is way lower than our average eBay order as far as like the average sale price. And then our average. Etsy order is way higher than our average eBay order. That's done. Okay, we have a poster to pack. All right, let's see. I'd rather go. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. All right, let me open this thing up. I don't, I don't love pack and put. I don't mind it too much though. It's all right. Okay, I just need to kind of get a feel. Well, first of all, let me see how long this is. Yeah, okay. So the poster is 24 inches wide. So I, I'm not like, I'm not going to be like super, like I'm already, it's already over the 20. What's the limit? Is it 22 or 20? I think it's 22, huh? There's no way we're not going to be under... Well, the only way we could be under 22 is if we did like a big flat box and did it at an angle from corner to corner or whatever. Not doing it. Not going to do it. Uh, yeah, I just need to figure out how much room I want to leave to, to make up my ends. Just kind of eyeball it. Let's see. And like I said, we, we're not crunch for space here as long as we don't go over like 30 or something I think it's 30 I always I need to write that on a I need to write that down and put it up on the wall the surcharges for length as a matter of fact I'm gonna cuss myself whenever I say this whenever I'm editing I'll uh, I'll put the information here again and uh, note to editor, when you edit this portion, write it up what those, what the um, surcharge limit things are or whatever, and put it on, uh, put it up on the wall so you don't have to constantly be guessing. Okay, let's see. Then we're going to put a line right down the middle here approximate middle right, let's see. Here. Yeah, we'll go six inches there and that'll make our midpoint and then we just need to score and fold 
and then make up our ends and then tape up the ends and that's it it's a little time consuming but it's not too bad our triangle tape it up a little along the way gaps right there I'm going to tape up. So just scoring, score extra deep there, and then cutting out like that. If you do it like this, where you leave a little bit in the middle, then you don't have them all over the floor. To pick up when you're done. Let me do it like this. There we go. Yeah. This is working out pretty good. And you weaken these. Uh, weaken these seams up so much that if you normally don't use a lot of tape uh, this is not a bad place to use a little extra tape after you do all that scoring and whatnot there all right posters in and we get look we got plenty of room i can go one i just want to go one two three four five six seven can i see that not really huh I'll just just to make sure I don't I'll just kind of poke a hole where it starts. There we go. That's where I can't go past. Oh. Those in there too. Okay, I'll just go right here. Ooh. I might have cut this one a little tight. Let's see funny though these triangle things always seem to work out one way or the other there oh yeah that one was close though I don't want to miss that there I like that fold better If you don't have poster tubes handy, this ain't a bad way to go. Like if you sell, if you sell five posters a year and you don't don't feel like stocking that, stuff, this is adequate. All right, that's it. All right, we are back, and this morning we are packing books now. 
we have somebody that bought two lots so i'm going to take these out and i don't know i don't know what size box i'm going to need i don't know if a, a 12 12 12 might do it let's take a look maybe not get these guys out it, it's not really that crucial that i fit it in a in a certain size box i just want to figure out what i'm going to use because media mail doesn't really matter what the size of your box is let's see probably tell you what let me build this box up real quick just the bottom And one way I can kind of tell is I can just take single books. If I can fit fit four single books in flat on the bottom, then this will be, and we can definitely fit them all in here. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, they'll fit just like that. Okay, but I'm not gonna put them in there like that. I am going to put some kind of bag or something. I think I'm gonna get, I think for this, I'm gonna get one of my big bags. Be right back. All right, and I'll use, I'll put a little bit of paper in there. And that's not for cushion so much as it is just to put something in there. So once I get all the books in there, they won't just like bounce all around like crazy. All right. There we go. Yeah. That bag. Put the bag in there, kind of like a garbage bag. Okay, now we just need to get stacking. It's kind of in a rotating thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, these will, these are gonna fit no problem. No problem. We do have some golf clubs to pack. I told y'all, I think a little while ago in this video, but I think I found a solution for the golf clubs that might make them not that interesting. <laughs> Which is a, an interesting pack is usually a pack that takes a little more effort. Yeah. So two inch tape causing problems. All right. Here we go. Um, I am going to go ahead and hand resize it. I mean, just in case it can go ground advantage, I'll give it a shot by getting the dimensions down a little bit. Even know how much it's going to weigh. Put a little paper in the top. Okay, this actually worked out pretty good. And I will take those boxes over there that I took these books out of. And uh, I'm just going to break them down and we'll use them on another pack. That was always kind of the plan. So I expected they were going to be pretty good mini books that were going to go out like this where there was multiple lots.
got to tape the bottom up. And I want to hit that seam, factory seam, that one. Okay, this is done. Ooh, it is heavy. Let's see how heavy it is. Let me let me see if I can guess. It's hard to guess when they get this heavy. Ooh, that's tough. Is that 20 pounds? Probably not. I'm going to say it's... Oh, it's not that heavy, is it? I'm going to say 13, 13 dot, no, 12.97, 12.98, no, I'm way off, 14.94, okay, that's a 15 pound package. All right, I'm going to pack this Lego Dimension stuff, um, this is what they actually bought, the Lego stuff itself, this is sealed, this is a portal, and later on I found... In another box I found this game uh, which is actually sealed too which originally went with it in the starter kit and then I found these instructions so I'm just gonna go ahead and send them all that stuff because I don't think that game is worth very much I looked it up it didn't look like it was hardly worth anything anyway or not worth not worth me making a separate listing for it so I think in this case it's better for everybody if I just go ahead and throw it in. Make a happier customer and I, I wasn't going to list it separate anyway. Uh, we'll see how it fits though. I guess I should have. Yeah, it's kind of tight. Yeah, all right. Um, let's see, it's a little bubble wrap, like I said, it's pretty tight in here, I'll pack it like this though, that'll be smarter, I'm not, yeah, yeah, that'll be fine, just like that. Little bit of paper on the sides. Oh, by the way, that um, fifteen pound box of paperbacks was just a little cheaper send ground advantage no it was about it was a little over a dollar cheaper it was like a 13 something and media rate was going to be 15 something so got a free upgrade there okay that one's done all right we're packing this uh assassin's creed phantom blade long box so we're going to do a little resize here I think 17 is the number. I think that box measures about 15.
How'd we do? Okay, we did pretty good. Pretty good. We can even use this just like it's set. This is good news. Getting close now. We do need to bubble wrap that thing. Materials I can do a little bit of strength. All right, done. All right, packing this Hallmark ornament. Bubble it up. And I've definitely Definitely had something in this box before and then broke it back down. Do that a pretty good bit. Okay.
we're packing uh, one of these Yadra figs. I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm going to use bubble wrap too, but I am also, before I do that, just going to put a little wrap on here. It might not be a bad idea on this particular one. Some of them have features that are too delicate to do this, and this isn't definitely, I mean, I, this is breakable, I'm not saying that. Just, yeah, I think I like that, and then I'll bubble wrap that. Uh, we, I do typically on these, uh, it's just automatic double box. And yeah, this is a 1086 that we just took those paperbacks out of. Okay, let's get the bubble wrap. Get two by two by two. Let's do that. normal paper on the interior pack. with it I always plan on double boxing area this thing seems like it's I'm not gonna make my double box very big I'll tell you that because this thing could probably ship just like that but no I'm gonna stick with it we haven't had any issues yet and we've shipped some really delicate ones so I'm gonna go ahead and Stick with it. It's been working so far. Some of these things I've shipped out. They had the flowers. They are the they had, they had features that were just like super delicate, out there, kind of on their own, like an outstretched hand or something. It's like man, I can't lie. Some of these things I was really nervous about. We've had no problems. Let me see how, uh, see how big I'm going to make this. Hey, what do you know? It's perfect. <laughs> I don't have to adjust, don't have to adjust it. I actually do think it's about perfect. bogus paper this stuff right here this is where I really like using it is on a double box because I don't have to use that much of it Just being a 50 pound weight it holds its form really good without much without having to use a whole lot of it yeah. I already did the thing 
thank you. Oh, I gotta trim up the corners. with that sold one of these um, loyal subjects power rangers might be a is that a funko thing uh, trying to see kind of looks like a funko thing but i don't it's called action vinyl so probably not funko look like a uh, funko blind box kind of deal be a real quick and easy pack here. Okay, we're finally going to pack the golf clubs, and yeah, I'm cheating. Uh, these things are wrapped, as you can see. I have this box, which is pretty good size. We are storing these big zip ties in it, duck straps. So I'll just take those out. My other alternative was going to be to build some kind of box somehow, but man, this is just so much easier. Okay. And the good thing is, too, this, this box is pretty actually pretty strong. Um, so, you know, it doesn't need to be. I mean, those iron, they're, they're iron, they're not, you need to pack them, but... Not, there's not really a whole lot that's going to go wrong with them. The box is just barely, let's see. Yep, just look. <laughs> it's just barely big enough. I don't have a whole lot of room to spare here. Uh, I'll stuff a little bit of this paper down the side. Just so they're not... That's just for void fill. We're not really cushioning this thing at all. tape this thing up hardest part about this one is uh bringing it to UPS store and I did look 
it would cost us i think if i did decide to do uh, get out of here paper if i did decide to do ground advantage, uh, it would cost seven more dollars but we're going out anyways to run some other errands so it doesn't doesn't make sense not to just go ahead and save the seven dollars this time there might be another some other days where we wouldn't we'd be like oh man I, like bad weather or something we don't have anything else to to do and i can replace a 30 minute round trip to ups store with seven dollars and a lot of days i would probably just do that one of the reasons why we don't really like to send anything ups that's pretty cheap typically because the ups package is gonna require a little driving Also, a lot of a lot of the stuff that I've been thinking is going to be a UPS package lately. I, I am able to end up sending ground advantage for cheaper or about the same. Okay, these are ready to go, and that is going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all.